This is my 1980 Porsche 924 Turbo. I think it has an intake manifold gasket leak. Um, the symptoms it is showing are very rough cold starts. In general, it is not running as smooth as it should. And also, there's an audible boost leak at higher RPM. So today I'm going to con conduct a quick little test um, on whether or not it's the intake manifold gasket that is creating this problem. So in order to test this, um, it's a very simple test. All I'm going to do is take some, some starting fluid. I'm going to start the car up, let it idle, and then I'm going to aim the starting fluid at this gasket here at each one of these these intake manifold ports um in theory what i'm listening for if there is an intake manifold gasket leak is uh, a change in p engine pitch when i spray the fluid on there um, the starting fluid is more easily combustible than f fuel which in theory should um, create some sort of effect on the engine um, most likely it'll rev up and rev a little cleaner since it's idling rough anyways um, so yes, I'm going to be listening for that, uh, very simple test, um, if there's no change in pitch, then most likely it's not going to be your intake manifold. Uh, this stuff evaporates very quickly and gets through, through the crevices if there are any. Um, yes, so let's give this a go. So it looks like my theory was correct. Um, I didn't really get anything up here on the first cylinder. Uh, the second gave me a tiny bit of a response when I sprayed on there. Uh, the third one really gave me the most. Um, that one, the revs almost uh, evened out a little bit, almost sounded a little bit smoother and the fourth one also gave me a little bit. So this is an easy way to test whether or not you have an intake manifold gasket leak. Um, this car is equipped with Bosch CIS mechanical fuel injection. This is one of the earliest fuel injection systems that was put into cars. Um, this is very common in many Audis, Porsches and, and other European cars, mostly of the VW group. The way it works is the pressure of the exhaust gas spins the turbine wheel, which in turn spins the compressor wheel. Um, the turbine wheel is the hot side, compressor is the cold side of the turbo. Uh, this fuel injection system, uh, this Bosch CIS, sits in front of the uh, intake side of the turbo, meaning on the cold air inside. Um, this is the air box and this is the little rubber boot that connects them. So the way this fuel injection system works is um, the turbo basically puts a vacuum in front of the intake uh, on this system and that pushes down or pulls down with the vacuum this little this little flapper system and this is what lets the Bosch CIS fuel injection mechanically adjust for a non-linear turbo power curve that all these cars have um, the, the problems that arise from something not being correct in the system is um, as previously mentioned, uh, cold starts, the general how the car runs, and um, especially with this intake manifold leak, uh, the turbo puts a certain pressure into the intake manifold, into this, this tube that comes up here, um, and basically it has already adjusted for the amount of pressure with fuel, meaning the high pressure fuel pumps and the high pressure injectors are already putting that depicted amount of fuel in the engine. But now with this boost leak, 
um, we're seeing less less air than than what the fuel is regulated for. So basically, we have a completely screwed up air to fuel ratio, which causes these cars to run so incredibly crappy when they're when something's not right. But when everything is correct, everything works great, and there's no issues. Um, yes.